COVID-19 is testing healthcare systems all around the world, including right here in the GTA home to one of the busiest emergency departments in all of Canada. Currently, some hospitals are seeing a significant reduction in ER visits. This as doctors are preparing for what else this pandemic can bring. The last couple of days uh, and weeks, um, we've seen lower volumes than usual. The William Osler Health System is home to three sites, Etobicoke General Hospital, Peel Memorial Center, and Brampton Civic Hospital, the busiest ED in Canada, seeing about 400 patients a day. Prior to the pandemic, all three sites saw a combined average of approximately 1,000 patients in the ERs. But since March 10th, they've only seen half that number. Over the 17-day the period, they steadily decline. The assessment center sees approximately 200 patients a day. That's where patients get tested and screened for COVID-19. And it's been at capacity since it first began operating on March 11th. Around the same time, there was a drop in volume at ER departments. Dr. Oscar Carby says that, along with fears of going to hospitals where COVID-19 patients are getting care, could also be behind the decrease in visits, but says the hospitals have implemented procedures that would make visits safer for everyone. If they are ill and they require emergency services, please come. We will keep them safe. We will care for them well. Uh, and we will care for those that are also infected with COVID-19. We're ready. In the coming days and months, Dr. Carby says they are anticipating a steady increase in ill patients, higher numbers than they've seen these last few weeks. And that's based on the experiences of other countries, including the U.S. and Italy, who have the most confirmed cases. It is possible that Canada is a little bit behind uh, those countries in terms of evolution of this illness. Uh, and it all depends on, uh, on the uh, total numbers of patients that became infected in our country. Um, it's still unclear uh, how far behind we are. However, as ER visits drop, Dr. Carby states the hospitals have maintained staffing levels and running drills in preparation of more patients. Our intensive care units and, and capacity for ventilators and those critical care patients um, is at its maximum uh, that I've ever seen as long as I've been a member of our organization. As ER visits have dropped, Dr. Carby also tells City News wait times in emergency departments have also seen a decrease in some cases by 40%. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.